my family wanted me to leave Cuba, and I was planning to go to Spain, and then I visited, I was going to try to get the visa to go to Spain, and the priest I was contacting was in spiritual retreat, and I couldn't reach him. So thinking, you know, who could help me, I went to see a lady who was the head of a, a very important Spanish institution, Hijas de Galicia, who was a fraternal group of, of daughters of um, descendants of Spaniards from Galicia province, who was a mother of one of my classmates. And I remember uh, she was crying the day I arrived because the two children had left. She herself had parents who couldn't move, so, and I asked her to get me my visa, if she could help me getting the Spanish visa. And she said, well, why do you want to go to Spain? In any way, so she said, you cannot go to a little aldea in Spain, and what are you going to do there? Where are you going to study? So she said, you promise not to ask any questions, I can get you to the US. And I just, of course, I said, well, how does it work? She said, it's okay, bring me your passport, um, and I'll take care of it. And the next thing, that was in January, I remember it was in January because I was going to be 17 in February, and I remember her telling me that it had to be before I would be 17. And then on April 14th um, of 1961, which was a momentous day because that day was a, um, a fire in the main um, department store of Cuba, sabotage of El Encanto. I remember coming from the university home and being told by my mother that a priest, a Jesuit priest, who was a friend of mine, had called. And I mean, he was a friend, but he usually didn't call my house, so I went to his house, and he said, here's your passport. Um, you have a visa to go to Jamaica, but you're not going to Jamaica. The plane is going to Jamaica after he drops you in Miami. When you arrive in Miami, you say, I am whatever, I forgot the code, and that's it. So that was April 14th, and my plane was scheduled for April 17th. Well, lo and behold, April 15th came. The invasion started um, um, sort of moving around, and on April 17th, invasion came, airport closed, and I finally left on April 26th. So um, when I arrived, there were two social workers at the airport, an American and a Puerto Rican, so that she would be fluent in Spanish and handling the conversation. I was the only, um, oh, the only one of the Pedro Pan group, and I was sent to a place called Kendall, where um, the Ursuline nuns were taking care of the girls, and a Cuban family named Pruna were taking care of the boys.